Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find intersection points of two graphs in this particular Casio graphics calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing what we want to be doing is we actually want to plot these two graphs in the graph mode. And the way we're going to do that is switch on the calculator, click on main menu, go down to the, the graphs menu, click enter, and notice how we've got y1 and y2. We're going to put both of these graphs, um, each one as separate ones. So for example, this one here is going to be y1. This one here is going to be y2. Now the order doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do 3x minus 4 as first. So I've got 3. And for the x, I'm going to use the x underneath the alpha. Uh, it would be better not to use alpha x because that's actually gets stored as a value. So we want to be using x, which is the variable in this case. So we're going to go 3x minus 4. And then we're going to type in the second graph, which is x minus 4 squared. So x minus 4, make sure, make sure that it's in brackets and squared. We're going to click on exe and we're going to click on draw. Now what's happening here is that you've actually got a parabola and you've got a straight line. Now, I know for a fact that this um, straight line is actually going to intercept the parabola at two different points. So what we need to do is figure out what those two intersection points are. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on GSolve. And as you can see, there's a little button ISCT, which is um, intersection point. So I click on it. And so our first point that we have for intersection is 2.29. Uh, Probably should have rounded that up, but that's all right. And then we've got then we've got 2.89. Now, I'd like to figure out if there's a second point. And the way I'm going to do that is by pressing the arrow buttons. Now, as you can see, what's happening here is that it's only giving me one intersection point here. It's not actually giving me the second intersection point. So to kind of fix this, we're going to change the actual view window here. So to do that, we're going to click on F3. And one of the ones that um, I've kind of played around with this is when we go for the standard view. And if you click on enter, we click draw again. What that happens is that it actually changes the view here. But when I go back to G-Solve and find the intersection points, here's my first point, which is 2.29 and 2.89. And now if I press the uh, cursor to the right, it's actually going to give me the second point, which happens to be somewhere around here, which is 8.70. And the Y value is going to be 22.10. Uh, now, the other way that you could also do is click on F2, which is zoom. You can actually zoom out, press EXE, and once again, zoom out, press EXE. And as you can see, there's those two points that um, where the intersections are happening. So if you click on G-Solve now and F5 again for intersection point, there's your first point, and then there's that second point right there. So folks, um, as you can see, the calculator can actually solve the intersection points, but you have to change the view window to actually make sure that you can actually grab both the both the points. Now, in some scenarios, you can't just keep zooming out, out and out because it's just the scale is too messed up. So the best one in that case I found was going into view window. So when we click on the uh, standard view, somehow it manages to actually track um, both of the intersection points. So folks, that is just a quick little video of how to find intersection points of two graphs on this particular calculator. Thank you.